Hi, how are you doing? Hope you are well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a great day, apart from the fact it's really warm in my studio today. Should really have the fan on, but I don't want it to make a noise while I'm recording, so that's switched off. But it is very hot. Can't complain though, can we? Because of, uh, you know, we're in the summer now and uh, everything's looking glorious, so very happy about that. A little bit warm though. What have I been doing? I've been painting in Rebel 4 with pastels and I've come up with this scene uh, of a local park near to me called, uh, I think it's just Loughborough Park. It's in a little market town called Loughborough, the art of the UK. And I saw this couple sat uh, by a, a small stream eating a picnic together and I just sort of thought it would make a really nice uh, painting. And what I've done, as you can see, I've used all the foliage of the trees and the uh, path here to make a frame around the central feature uh, of the couple. So uh, that's what this painting is all about. Let's just get straight into it and see how I struggled and tormented getting to this final result. Here we are in Rebel. Um, I'm going to do a pastel painting, I think. So, setting up the paper, let's have a look what have we got here. Um, craft paper. I think I'll just stick with um, something that's a standard paper that everybody can use. Maybe um, pressed. Should I go for rough? Get some nice textures. I'm doing pastels. Uh, oh, maybe this washi. Let's try this washi. Uh, just because we can. And we're going landscaped. See what we get. Very exciting. Can't see the texture very well if I um, roll in. Let's choose pastel, make a mark. Oh yes, that'll do nicely, I think. So let's just open the reference window. Could use Control R for this, uh, if you like. I'm not very good with um, shortcut commands because I find being left-handed, it's very, it is dis. A disadvantage um all the control keys are over to the left hand side or i mean all the shortcut keys are kind of over towards the left hand side of the keyboard designed for right-handed people i guess like the control key awsd shift alt and and tab and all of those and you might say hang on a minute you get the control key and the shift and uh, all them over on the right hand side you do but they don't always work um this is the image I'm going to paint. Uh, it's a park in Long Eaton. I blurred out the couple's faces, um, partly because of the um, new YouTube rules where you're not supposed to show any um, images of faces and people that you haven't got permission for. So don't want to upset anybody. Plus, you know, it is the right thing to do, isn't it? So that's the, the scene I'm going to do. Oh, and now I've kind of mess this up somehow <laughs> oh no oh here we go here's the reference image so I shrink that is that shrinking it's not even shrinking is it oh here we go that's better just put that out of the way and uh, yeah I bought myself a, a wireless keyboard so I can try and, and get into uh, using shortcut keys more and I've got it way over to the right hand side of of my desk so um, I can just fingers are just sitting over the keys nice and easy so I'm going to begin with a watercolor wash I think I'm going to use the wash flat brush and I've already picked a color I like this sort of pinky color I do like I want it more vibrant than that actually 
I, I like really vibrant colors. Um, as a, an underpainting when I'm doing pastels. a bit so this would be like an underpainting that you could put on with uh, if he's using pastels I do um, I've got some like surgical spirits that I use to uh, I put the colors on and then wash them down and let them dry so that could be my underpainting and I can paint on top of that let's lock that layer and um, create a new layer. This is where I'm going to start using the pastels. And I've obviously got much bigger image than this one. I'm not going to use this tilt thing, so I can move the image over there. Actually, it's not going to spoil um, spoil anything. Put that out of the way. I've got a bigger image on a different screen for me to be uh, working with. Um, which brush shall I try? I think I'll start with um, a square hard brush initially. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to block in. Using the square bracket keys. Move my tree over a little bit, you can see. Kind of like that, I guess. The Alt key to select color. Let's get some greens. Blue greens, I think. Dark blue greens. So, so sweeping old brush marks. That seems to be maxed out at hundred. It is. I'm pressing on too hard because I don't want to block out all of that lovely pinks underneath. A little waterfall, uh, not a waterfall, a, a little bridge might be nice to sort of get that in there as well. Actually comes up way over there much more like that I'm just going to do a little a little bit of uh, drawing just to see what I'm doing here I'm just paying a bit of attention to um, to this this bridge in this sort of Bit of a path that they are that this couple sat on. I'll just um, struggling talking here. I'm concentrating. I'm really, really concentrating. That's it. I've just this wall going off. I don't want these sort of fiddly lines like that. That's sort of that in. Um, put this wall in. 
I'll be putting purples and all sorts of stuff in here. In fact, let's do it. Let's start getting some purples in and things. And then this sort of even lighter path goes across there. Let's try this. I'm itching to get some of these lime greens in. Just makes that bounce a bit. set some of this blue I do like to sort of put blue greens um, and limes together I think they work really well good, good color color combination So it's, it's beginning to take shape. As with all of my pictures, they look quite abstract initially, and hopefully they'll end up a little bit sort of um, impressionist in style. A bit lighter. Right, we've got paint blend. Let's try a bit of blending. Just to create a new layer. We can get some sort of. Uh, just I'm just messing about seeing. How working on a new layer affects it. it doesn't make a, a deal of difference to be honest now uh, so I can merge those layers down control E I've got to remember control E soft doing gonna do oh that's nice that does feel like I'm using um, soft pastels now so I'm gonna switch over to this so I've been using the square hard brush I'm now switching over to the round soft and that gives uh, A real natural looking effect just like using um I can't think of the name it's gone it slipped it slipped my mind uh, there's so many pastels I'm using not a Sennelia. they're a little bit harder than this 
This one called Blue Something. Um, I'll tell you what, digital painting is so much cheaper than uh, painting with regular pastels. I, if, I, if I'm doing sort of traditional work now, I'm working in pastels, and I have to say, it costs a fortune. <laughs> it is not, it's not a cheap medium to work in. Well, I don't suppose any medium is really, you, you know. Um, just take the opacity down a little bit. Oh. And maybe just blend it a bit. I just felt that was a, a little bit hard, harsh. Right. Don't need it that big. That's a better size. Do these sort of marks, these leaves, quite. On the uh, photo I'm working from, the leaves are very um, you can, visible. You can actually almost see every single leaf. I don't know if that's a good idea to be uh, painting every leaf. Maybe you can do like sort of indications of them. Sort of there, but keeping it a little bit more. Blocky, I suppose is the word I'm looking for. I'm, I'm change, I've got my fingers on those square brackets and I'm changing the size of the brush all the time, just varying it. It's starting to come. in the details or not some details some highlights on this uh, tree trunk these are these are all going to get sort of um, knocked back oops a bit too much but painting back into it it sort of um Can adjust the size instead of trying to paint a thin line with the pastel i prefer to um put a, a, a thicker layer of pastel on and then keep cutting into it or a dante's a big fan of that Bit blended. I've sort of lost uh, my little bridge thing going off down here. Let's see if I can capture it and get that back again. Oh. 
Oops. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, I'm trying to um, define the side of this tree a little bit. Right, uh, just cutting that into there. Set. It's kind of got it. And then uh, bring some of these leaves. Oh, we've got these brighter ones sort of popping through as well and some of the light breaking through or the sky Trying to get the sort of the way these branches and leaves are all just sort of hanging down like that. Looks really nice. I think now I've made that light and the, this path has got to kind of be as light as that as well. Or well, certainly just here. It doesn't have to go right the way across. Let's define this um, this wall a bit. And I'm continually using the Alt key. The, the, the keys that I've, I'm using the most are the Alt key for selecting the colors and the square bracket keys to keep just keep sizing that brush up over and over again. A bit high with that. Okay, so that seen schoolboy error there. That's, that comes down like that. That's it. That's better. And then we've got where this couple are going to go just here. And then we've got this other wall here. And that kind of goes like. Putting that in shade. Again, I can cut around a few leaves. Pretty, I like that. All about the pretty. Hopefully it's just beginning to get there now. I'm thinking let's just pop some um I'm all over the place, aren't I? I like this round brush because I can get more sort of organic looking shapes. Then uh Mm 
with the square brushes. I can just keep going backwards and forth. Working around those. I think also we need this sort of um, yellowy color around there as well. Bit of blending might not go amiss. looking all right I'm going back to this uh, triangular brush now I think just to try and get some more Definition. I felt I, I just felt for a second that I was getting a little bit um too too much detail in there and i wanted to just break it up with with a few kind of big bad bold brush marks I like this uh, this brush because I can get an hard edge and a soft edge with it, which is uh, really nice. Go for the sort of a blue green in between the two. We've got the sort of green in the shadow, which is blue, and then the vibrant. Almost lime green. I like that blue. I'm going to um, pick that up. Put some of that in here. Now that, I've got to be careful because that's the wall. Which makes me think, I'm just going to pop that back. Go back a bit further with that.
And we've got this. Comes right up here like that. I tilt my brush, I can get the hard edge on the underside of it instead of on top. We go. Looking at my tree, making sure I'm happy with what's going off there. Making that sky a bit more dominant. This brush seems, when you get it really big, it seems to take on a life of its own, and you, uh, which is quite nice. You just get these really unexpected. Strokes. Can make it small, be much more precise. some of these little stones and pebbles and things taking me time with this one I just want to I'm feeling that lately I want to spend more time on painting but without sacrificing that impressionist look and the almost lack of detail let's try this square soft oh yeah that's that's nice i think this with it with the rebel pastels it's nice to, to uh, use all of the pastels than uh, just a, a few I'm liking what I'm getting now with this in fact that's just sort of big bold marks Just as you would with the pastels, you get sort of just go in there. I'm, I'm tempted, not quite so. That to me makes it look like a pastel, getting those sharp edges. Uh, well, you know, in the sort of style I like to paint, I know. There's a, a lot of uh, pastel painters out there that do stuff that's mind-blowing. Um, 
photorealistic wildlife guy. What's his, is it some Morgan? Does some stunning stuff. And I like this sort of squareness of, of that. I don't know if I should. <laughs> I don't know if it looks a bit too mechanical, but I really like it. Just gives the impression of that light shining through those trees. I always go back to the round brush if I'm feeling it's a bit too square. I'm I'm much happier with uh, the shape of this tree, the way these leaves are sort of coming down now. I can do a bit of blending, I suppose. As well soften off some of this Don't, not going to make it look like it's blending for blending sake just sort of killing some of those old edges a little bit Making the shapes a bit more irregular, probably for the better, really. I've noticed when you're using the blending brush, as soon as you choose a colour, it goes back to paint again. Or what's this actual? Yeah, to paint. And you um, no longer blend in. So bear that in mind. You know what? I'm going to save this because I had a problem the other day where uh, it actually crashed on me and I lost everything. So let's just save this. There we go. I'm much happier now. I think I need some uh, lighter. I to colour under there, that's it. And here. can see a lot of this um, getting over painted I 
I'm just wondering if some of these lights are actually too light. Um, the tonal contrast not quite right. I have to just knock them back a bit. Might be better. That's better. Got to be careful. You don't um, because of these darks going to make the lights look uh, or an, um, a mid tone look much brighter. So you you don't really need to go sort of full on white. If I take this colour and paint it, say here, see it's almost the same uh, as this. Um, path color, but in actual fact, it looks much lighter up there. So you got you got to be careful things like that, I suppose. Right, I think I need to put the couple in. Uh, oops, I think I need to put the couple in now. Shall I create a new layer? Make it easy for myself. Why not? And uh, we'll pop them in. Sort of this guy. Out here, I'm just going to use this dark color just to got that wrong already. I'm going to zoom in a bit, I think, just to um, and I'm going to change the color. Can't be working with that. We're just being lazy. So this guy so right here you know, they look like they're in a bit of a picnic don't they sort of got his picnic bag bit the wrong color there didn't I little oh, shopping bag Oh, that's sort of all lost in the dark. Oh, I'm going across there like that. Just an impression, really. And then his lady friend. The romantic in me wonders if this is a couple that have found each other later in years. And, um, sitting there romantic, romantically in the park, sharing a corned beef sandwich. Pondering 
Well, exciting it's going to be. Spending the rest of their lives together. What do you think? Comments below. <laughs> is that is that what's happening here? We're kind of got something looking all right there. Send me a bit more, perhaps. Now I've got them in. Just going to zoom in on my source photo actually. Just put a little bit of detail in perhaps. Now I've zoomed in a bit, I can sort of judge better what's going off. If that is a one, a, a nice, a real nice feature of um, digital painting. You can do that. You can uh, zoom in. I think this woman's hair sort of comes around there like that. Putting highlight, I, I, I do like putting highlights on people, uh, like sort of rim light and stuff like that.
I want to put as many purples in this as I normally do. To be honest, my photo when I'm close up, if I sort of zoom out on this, um, you can see there's not a lot of detail to be going with there. So I'm sort of making a lot of this up. If I do now. Up there a bit. Oh my word, what have I done? There we go. Just kind of put that there. Just so you can give you a better idea of what I'm trying to achieve. Looks like he's on his phone actually, doesn't it? So they're not he's not eating um corned beef sandwich. I don't know what this is here. I don't know if that's a dress or, or what. <laughs> Looking at the foot I've given her, not too, not too flattering. Or the leg, I should say. Sort of, um, look on that a bit. It's all about the light, you know, all about the light. I was, uh, I almost wanted to do another portrait today and um, I'm not so sure how you guys um, feel about that. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I do like painting portraits and I got another one lined up of Charlotte that I wanted to do, this time without Killy. That hands way too long. I can see I've got the proportions quite a bit out here, or quite a lot out. And sort of finishes there. So we can I'll call that out. It's better. I'm not going to put that dress in. I don't know what it is. I, can, I think I can slim his back down a bit. There, zoom back out again. There we go. Now that is on one layer. I could make them a bit bigger actually, you know, thinking about it. Um, because they're on a different layer. Right, a little bit bigger. So they're a bit more prominent in my painting. That's it. I need to quieten everything down around them. I think. Let me just. Um... Oh, that's how I can do it. I've sussed this out now. You just move on to the picture and uh, resize it uh, using the control and space bar, resizing your reference image. So that's easy. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to oh 
Got to go back to my pastels for that to work. Oops, chopped right off. I just want to sort of give a bit of space around them. So maybe make this path lighter as well. Just this pillar colour as well. Just so it's not quite the same as the skin, maybe. And the path that's up or yellow. She's that blending stump. Shut up quite a bit. What am I doing? This, I just don't, I'm not happy with what's happening with his back. I think I've, uh, this needs to sort of come up a bit and then his shirt more like, kind of like that. is too see what's going off now I've got that higher there we go
I've gone quiet for a bit there. I was really uh, trying to get that character. I'm struggling with him a bit. Struggling with him. It might be. Uh, yeah, I can see uh, we've got this piece under there. Which means his arm is. I, sometimes I wonder where. I'm, wonder what I've been looking at, you know? That's it. That's it. Just lifts that leg up. That was what the problem was. It's there. Makes his arm more proportional. Yeah. that down a bit to give him a bit more of a shoulder yeah that's better I'm happy with that just needed a dressing I think I can merge this layer down now so I could do some softening. Uh, was it control E? Let's try the um, shortcut. Yes, it worked. Not taking me too long, has it, to get into the shortcuts, really? I've only been doing this five years. Or well, painting digital five years. Just define that a little bit more like that, that's it. Right, um, where else can we go? This nice blue I can put in there, sort of distant trees. I don't want this. There's like a a red, orange terracotta type thing looming. I don't think we need that. Put a little bit of that uh, grass. in there like that my turn Going backwards and forth with these leaves now, just sort of. Maybe I need the the round brush for this bit just to so they don't look quite so square. Looks a little bit more natural. tip you know with people if you're not happy with what you're doing with exactly how they look just um 
just blur them out sort of lose edges like that a cheat really I guess but but it does work and it sort of puts them in the picture uh, better you know they, they, they look like they belong in there now they've not been painted on a separate layer whoops I kind of I'm gonna try and keep that can so the entrance Some of those greens up here. It's not all dark. Actually, you know these these highlights should be kind of around the side of the tree as well. Like that. That's better. I think his shopping bag was distracting. Didn't really need that, did we? Let's, let's lose that. Because you don't have to paint in every detail, you know. You can leave stuff out. It is allowed. A couple of ducks might be nice, I'm thinking. Maybe. What do you think? Ducks. Should we put some ducks in? to lose that pink at the front don't think we need too much of that Because I don't, I never draw anything before I start. It is quite uh, integral to my work that I um, continually going in, sculpting something, then changing it, and and tweaking it and doing. 
but it it just works for my personality because I, I can't you know if I'm doing a drawing that's fine I'm very happy to sit and, and sketch and draw but if I'm doing a painting I kind of just want to paint I, I don't want to be doing I, I don't I, I want to get straight past that sketching stage into the painting but I was still not I still wasn't 100% happy with that arm I think I got it too fat Totally messed this body up. There, that's it. That's it. Just got to keep tweaking it till I'm happy with it. Yeah, that's better. Well, considering how long it took me to put the people in, do I do the ducks? It's scary, isn't it? I think I should. Got kind of one duck here, and these are literally going to be splosh, dob, done. Line down here, sort of spread out like that. We could, I could put some the other side, but I think that would just be distracting. Now I'm just trying to knock back some of the detail and, and fuss up here, just to make it a bit softer, maybe blend it back a bit as well. That's interesting, I wonder where that colour came from then.
And these two trees just kind of blend together, form this canopy around the skyles there. Just making kind of a, a frame. I'm trying to make a framework for the two people. So I shrunk it down so so I could see it almost as a thumbnail and see where it was too noisy and just sort of knock that back a bit. And now I can zoom back in again. Change that slightly, haven't I? Just there. We could have some a bit darker. Bush lines there if we wanted. All we'll adding little bits of detail. Blender again. I can't. Have like that diffuse that idea of blending them into the scene i stick with that oh just painted over my door this was kind of Blob of light just needs sort of breaking up a bit. Hmm. Interesting. I quite like that. What we get in there? Just using that uh, blender. Softens that light a bit. Almost comes right down to touching that bridge. I think I'm nearly there, you know. Just going to go in and define a few little marks now.
I think what I've got going off here is a, a conflict between the tree and the people, which is the focal point. What are we looking at? And I'm thinking it's the people, it's sort of the, you know, couple that have fell in love is the main feature. So I'm just going to. Uh, I wanted to put that detail in the tree and now I've thought better of it. Keep it a little bit more muted. Thus pushing the uh, couple back as the focal point. Um, just kind of get rid of some of that red. Maybe just, just lose some of that detail there. Emphasizing that, um, frame a bit more I want to say frame I mean the frame around the couple I do want to keep this tree it's important but uh, and I can put a little bit of something in actually that's does draw you to them doesn't it so maybe lose that there not that back a bit just here I'm thinking now, let's uh, let's make the darks darker. A bit of color in there as well. this has changed quite uh, dramatically as as the paintings evolved i've lost me ducks almost perhaps not a bad thing
just a little indication of them and I'm thinking if I just do a few dashes and dots and things this that could lead your eye into that couple Oops, what have I done? Selected area is empty, yeah. Just trying to undo what I've just done, but it ain't, it's not happening. Put that back in a bit. Just checking off. Uh, Bridge still, I could you know that's make that a bit darker. Have I gone too dark? That's the question. Do I go lighter? This, this painting's taking a long time now. I thought I was going to have it done in like minutes. Well, when I say minutes, I, I was thinking an hour tops. And uh, see, if I was doing pastels, I couldn't fiddle around with it like this because I would have clogged, I'd have clogged the paper up a long time ago. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna to have to bring some of this back. I think I went a bit too dark. I need a lot, does it? Just that there just emphasizes the tree a bit. I've got that shadow going in there, joining the tree to the couple, which I quite like. Um I like this sort of scumbliness thing I've got going off down here. watch and before I had this lovely green um, blue green I'm gonna bring that back in between separating the, the lime green and those purpley shadows
better. But we're getting there. I'm loving the bit. I'm loving the foreground and I'm loving the shadow and the, the trees coming together now. Uh, I'm liking this sort of stone wall thing we've got going off. I think that's working well. Even put a little bit of detail in there. Got the happy couple. Sharing the picnic. I think I'm there, you know. I think I'm going to call it a day at that. I'm going to sign it and say uh, that's it. There we go. All signed up. Right, uh, pastels, pastels in Rebel 4. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them all with you. So don't forget everybody, stay safe, stay sane and keep painting and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye